Wicked Legend here. Welcome home, guys. All right. We're going to finish off the series with the how-to for beginners, destroyers, uh, with the British. Um, British, they're kind of unique. They have a very short smoke. Uh, they also have single firing torps. You don't have to fire the whole rack. You could just single fire all of them, which makes it very uh, interesting. You can really put torps in areas that you can control where you're putting them because it's one at a time. Um, they do have uh, a decent arsenal, single turret, uh, single barrel, though. Um, they don't have a speed boost, so they come out with... Um, they're not really fast, okay? And they're not fast for the most part throughout the whole 5 to 10. Um, their concealment's decent. They have uh, eventually a, uh, a self-hydro, which is going to help you out. But they're strictly gunboats. For, for the most part, they're gunboats... Um, you have your HE, you have your EP, and then you have your just single firing torps. But yes, again, you got a lot of smoke, but it's fast smoke. 40 seconds, so it's an in and out, in and out. You're going to just little knife fights here and there. You don't want to stick around. You're not going to stick around at all. Um, I have it set up. The usual 10. This is your standard 10 for pretty much everything at tier 5. And uh, yeah, let's let's give it a try. I'll show you guys quickly. Because uh, there's not much to these ships. There really isn't. Um, we're just going to go with speed boost. We don't need anything else. And we're going to go right in. Uh, eventually, in the British, um, you get to the Daring, which is a tier 10. It's a fun little boat. They have a small caliber round. Um, but with the British tier 10 destroyer, you don't need the IFHE, which eventually you're gonna we're going to talk about. Um... Just like a, it's a special um, setup you can have for low caliber guns. So they can pen a little bit more armor, right? Because uh, if there's a lot of armor, you're just not going to do any damage to it. And you're just going to struggle no matter what you're firing at. And we're talking about battleships, some cruisers too. So, all right. We're going to be outspotted here, uh, potentially outgunned, but this is a bot. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to be outspotted by him and outspotted by him. So, like, again, I said, uh, in and out, in and out. We're going to rely on our team. Let's get to it. We're going to rely on our team. And uh, let's see how it goes. Now, they don't have speed boost. Um, sorry, they don't have um, speed. But they have it built in for acceleration. So they have built-in acceleration like most British do. So I'm instantly top speed. Just instantly, I'm gone. See, which is a, it, it's good for when you're going in and out because you're gonna slow down, smoke, daka daka a little, and then leave as fast as possible. Or if you're stationary and you see torps, you can accelerate uh, fast enough to get potentially out of a danger. So we're gonna contest C. We want we want a spot for our team. We're gonna go contest C. We're gonna get all our guns ready. Always preemptively turn them, right? Because they're slow. Not all guns are fast. when people are talking about stats in the game doesn't matter to us ping all right oh here we go we spotted i'm actually not gonna fire he's about to smoke me up see i went dark Give them a little bit of uh, something to think about. There you go. Single firing torps. It looks silly, but it works. I wonder who's spotting him. Oh, the Visby spotting him. Perfect. Broken up here. We need that guy dead. This guy's easy. He's just gonna go forward and be obnoxious. Alright, focus the closest ED, regardless of it being a bot. By the way, when you guys see bots in the game, that means that the player base that's around right now 
is uh, not as experienced as you are. So Wargaming is going to give you bots instead of non-experienced players. If you guys ever wonder that, the bots are technically better than the player base that's on right now. So for you not to just completely crush them, they give you bots. You can crush bots, but it's not good to crush the newer player base. Kind of deters them from playing the game after a while, right? All right, we got rid of one. Okay, they're pushing, that's fine. We're going for the DD. We don't want to mess with them. We don't have the firepower. We don't even have the firepower for him. Um, we, we we want that um, Kitakazu, that, that guy right there. We're just gonna gun. We could send Torps here, but really isn't a point. The only reason I'm moving the camera back, if you guys were ever wondering why, is so you can see incoming fire. Dead here? Yep. My engines are out and I couldn't slow down. If my engines weren't out, obviously, I could dodge that. Um, there's actually no reason for me to play another game. <laughs> They're really easy to play. Just uh, if our team would have gotten rid of the Hawkins a little bit earlier, this would have been a different engagement. Their team decided to focus fire, which worked out for them. Our team was a little bit slow to react. Uh, the Hawkins should have been dead way sooner. Uh, but not everyone was firing at him. Oops, not everyone was firing. And at this point, these guys are most likely going to die due to this DD. Uh, because our other DD died too. Was it? Uh, oh, it was, a, it was a bot. So, And then on this side, yeah, our guys are just pushing. So most likely this will be a loss unless our Kamikaze can kill their Kamikaze and Visby. So it's two DD players against one DD player. Pretty tough odds. Pretty tough odds. We're only down on one ship, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's about to happen. If you guys don't know anything about the Kamikaze, which most of you probably won't if you're watching this video, if you're new, that is, uh, it's pretty broken. Pretty broken. Uh, other than that, yeah, quick in and out, in and out. Notice my smoke ran out quick. Of course, instead of me running out, uh, again, I relied on my team to get rid of the cruiser so I can go engage the DD, which I did, but these guys decided to focus fire, and uh, that was about it. Nothing crazy about uh, the DD, um, British DDs, just hit and runs, try to stay alive. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're starting uh, our cruiser series in about two days. So, um, hope to have you back and uh, good luck with the destroyers. Catch you guys all later.